Hi, everybody, and welcome back on this hectic Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend, and I hope everyone hit by the hurricane and foul weather over the weekend is indeed okay today. At least you are safe and material goods can be replaced. Okay, so let's start with a joke. After weeks of stage four and six blackouts, my generator arrived on Friday. Yay! <laughs> so, with all the excitement, we were waiting for the power to go out so we can try this wonderful machine. And we were waiting and waiting and waiting. Saturday morning, I received the push message load shedding has been suspended. I laughed so hard that I nearly choked. <laughs> but don't worry, it was just for the weekend. It is starting again today, but we are, however, missing it today due to our schedule. But we'll have our first one for the week tomorrow, starting at 4 p.m. <laughs> Okay guys, we have a lot to unravel this week. Some of it funny and some of it not funny at all. You must think I am obsessed with Harry's biography because I keep hammering on it. Well, not exactly, but if there is something I detest, then it is all these experts giving their 10 cents worth based on nothing. Goodness, if you are invited to appear on a show or write a guest article, then the very least you can do is try to get some information, do some homework. Yes, we all guess and speculate, but at least we are trying to get some basis for our speculation. I'm reading through articles and it is just according to the royal expert this and according to the royal expert that goodness it appears as if every second person is now a royal expert however the status quo as far as I'm concerned still remains the same Penguin USA has not as yet reply to my email but according to my contact in the book distribution business the book is still expected before christmas in terms of advertising and distribution nothing has changed according to tom bauer however he thinks the book will be delayed until easter next year however what I do find interesting is that I found the old email from the person who had previously emailed me. A person who is a production freelancer. I emailed her and asked her straight out what the word is on the Netflix documentary. And she finally replied. She did, however, say that I should caution you that what she is saying is gossip and speculation in itself, as to date, no one could or would give her a straight answer. The only straight answer she got was, it is all nonsense, don't believe what you see and read in the media. Anyway, according to her, the word is, remember, this is industry gossip. That there is friction between the Harkles and Netflix. And that quite simply, if the Harkles delay their documentaries any longer, the relationship will be over, done, never to be revived again. According to industry gossip, the fallout from such a move by the Harkles 
would be more devastating to the Harkles than putting it out warts and all. Remember, when Pearl was axed by Netflix, Harry and David Furnish tried to sell it to other networks and streaming services. Well, they were unsuccessful. And according to my contact, the exact same thing will happen to these two documentaries if they try to put it off any longer. No network or streaming service will pay just to be thrashed around by the Harkles or knowing that they will have to wait for a product they may never get. If the Harkles drop the ball on this one, they will pretty much be done in the industry and the best they will be able to hope for will be the odd appearance on someone else's show. Obviously, that doesn't pay as much. Okay, but what does this have to do with the book? The gossip is further that it is true that Netflix planned on releasing the documentaries to coincide with the release of Harry's book and the fact that Penguin is refusing to say anything is ticking the Netflix executives off. Okay, now after a number of discussions with a number of people, I have come to my own conclusions and among all the stories out there, here is what I think is true. I believe the information that there is a delay in publication. Not because Harry and Moringer are editing stuff out, but because they are, or Harry is, or Harry and Meghan are, adding another chapter to include the Queen's death and funeral. I'm not going to argue with Mr. Bauer that the book may be delayed until early next year, but I think there is too much at stake for the Harkles, and therefore I think we are going to see the book come out between end of November and mid-December. There is, in my opinion, no way the book will be shelved completely. Remember, the publisher had already put out a press release, which reads as follows. In an intimate and heartfelt memoir from one of the most fascinating and influential figures of our time, Prince Harry will share for the very first time the definitive account of the experience, adventures, losses and life lessons that have helped shape him. Covering his lifetime in the public eye from childhood to present day, including his dedication to service, the military duty that took him to the front line in Afghanistan, and the joy he found in being a husband and father, Prince Harry will offer an honest and captivating personal portrait, one that shows readers that behind everything they think they know lies an inspiring, courageous and uplifting human story. Guys, there is no way a big publishing company being part of an even bigger conglomerate will allow themselves to be embarrassed by not releasing that book. You can be sure that Harry will be hit with a lawsuit, not only for the advance he received, but also for breaking his contract and future predicted income. It will be huge, and somehow I do not think Papa will foot that bill. Okay guys, it appears YouTube had a bit of a problem over the weekend as my video yesterday took about four hours to load. 
There were issues with analytics and comment support. So I am keeping this short and we'll be back with another video on a different subject in a few hours. So until we meet again on that one, please, as always, take good care of yourselves. Bye.